I don't know if you recall in an earlier training video we talked about how you can link a cell to another cell so if somebody updates that cell it automatically updates this one or a cell on a different worksheet or in this case an entirely different workbook for example I've got my uh, quantity here for double bubble that I want to get from all the employees like Gertie she's got her total 500 and Lizzie zero and in any case I want to be able to bring all that and have them linked so any changes they make in their workbook will automatically update mine. To do that, it's really simple. All you have to do is hit the equals key on the keyboard and then go ahead and go to the uh, next workbook, select the cell, and hit the plus key on the keyboard. And then go to the next workbook, same cell. And I like to keep it consistent. I mean, you don't have to have the same cell in each workbook be for this item that you're, we're adding up the quantity. You can have it, well, C20, X22, but I like to keep things simple so I know that C5 in each of the workbooks is going to be the quantity for Double Bubble. It's a lot easier to manage to keep that in mind as opposed to being all over the worksheet in other workbooks. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. You can see it adds it up here. Then go to the last workbook and select it. When I'm finished, I'm not going to add another plus. Just go ahead and hit enter. Boom, it automatically updates. Go ahead and select the cell, and you can see up in the formula bar, we've got the name of the uh, workbook, and then we've got the worksheet that it's being linked to, and then the separator, the operator exclamation point, from the name of the worksheet to the name of the cell, or the absolute, which is C5, and then Lizzie C5 and Dot Warner C5. Now, this should be linked, so any changes that I make in one, so it's 500. If I go to Gertie, she's 500, and I say 2, hit enter come back here to automatically updated because apparently Gertie's the only one that sold anything the other two have a big fat zero now it's not just with uh, using a simple formula you can also use functions if I select a cell here let's do nerd ropes and instead of using the sum function we can go ahead and use other functions like average equals a v e r and there it is average go ahead and hit the tab key to pop it open so let's get the average quantity sold for nerds rope so you can see the uh, syntax here. The first argument says, okay, where's the first cell? Well, it's going to be Gertie. Let's go ahead and select cell C6. And then if you look around, you'll find the uh, syntax here with the first argument being met. But to go to the next argument, you can see the delimiter. It's a comma that separates it. So I need to add a comma to go to the next argument, which is, okay, where's the second number? Let's go to Lizzie. Select the second cell here, comma. And you can see I'm going to the third. Go to dot, go ahead and select that cell, and then when I'm done, just hit enter on the keyboard, and there you go. There's the average of all three uh, quantities sold by all three employees in those three different workbooks. So it should be linked. So if I make any changes to the average, let's go to Gertie again. Wow, 5,000, let's say 1. So instead of being in the 1800s, the average is now down to uh, 147. So it's linked. Now this is all fine and dandy. Let me go ahead and click save and close out of all of them. Save and close. Well, let me close out of that. But they're all in my exercises uh, folder. So if somebody comes in and says, hey, let me go ahead and move one of the workbooks. There's my link workbook. It's linked to Lizzie and then also uh, Dot and Gertie. If they go ahead and they click and drag and move one of them out of the uh, folder that the workbook is linked to, it's looking inside this folder to be linked. If it's moved out of it, it's going to have a fit. For example, if I double click and open it up, well, first thing it says, it says, okay, the workbook contains links to other data sources. If you update the links, Excel will attempt to retrieve the latest data. Are you okay with that? If you don't, then Excel will use the previous information. I do want to update. And then when I do that, it says, oh, wait a second. The workbook contains one or more links that cannot be updated because, again, we pulled that file out of the folder that it was used to looking into to find Lizzie, and Lizzie's no longer in that exercises folder. So do you want to continue to leave the link as is, or do you want to edit it to include it? And there we go. These two are okay because we didn't move them out of the folder. This one says it can't find it, so we'll go ahead and select Lizzie, and you can see down below the location is in the exercises folder. So we're going to go ahead and click change source, go to my desktop, and there she is. Double click. Now it's okay. It can find the uh, source. And then if there's any updates to be made, we can go ahead and click on Update Values and be able to update any changes that they make. And then go ahead and click Close. Now, if at any point, let's say that Lizzie got fired or she's no longer part of the company, but we hired somebody else and we want to swap out Lizzie for another workbook. In other words, you could open up the Lizzie workbook, 
do a save as. Save it as the uh, new employee like Homer Simpson. In any case, if you need to make changes to your links or you want to relink to another workbook, not a problem. Go ahead and come up here, click on the Data tab, go to the Connections group and click on Edit Links. That's where you can go back and select Lizzie and go ahead and change the source and choose somebody else, another workbook. And if you want to add a workbook, well then you just need to update the formulas, in which case as a part of the formula it will see another workbook and we will list them here, the additional workbook, as many as you link to. And then of course when I'm finished I can go ahead and click Save and close out and double click to open it back up and start the whole process over again here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.